We're going to take a look at the problem two-thirds divided by one-third, and I'm going to show you how to use the area models to divide along with uh, using common denominators. So an area model uh, looks something like this. We're going to separate this into thirds, and we'll cover up two of them. And we'll separate our second number to visually represent it into thirds, and we'll cover up one of them. Since these both have common denominators, we can go ahead and work this problem because it's saying how many one-thirds fit into two-thirds. So I'm looking at taking this one-third. Well, I see one can fit in here, and another one can fit in here. So my answer would be two. There are two one-thirds in two-thirds. So to show this another way, we have two-thirds, and we're dividing it by one-third. And this is the same as looking at the problem if you said, how many twos are in six? You would say three. How many twenties are in 60? You would say three. How many two hundreds are in six hundreds? You would say three. So it doesn't matter the unit that we're using. It just is a division problem. So I can go ahead and pretend like these units don't exist, and I can just divide the numerators. Two divided by one equals two and that's representing it algebraically. Again, here we have common denominators. We'll go ahead and represent the problem. One fourth looks like this. Three fourths looks like this. Our question is asking us how many three fourths fit into one fourth. So when I look at it, I see this piece right here can fit right here. So it's equivalent to one. Out of how many? Out of the three that are here. So our answer is one third. So let's take a look at this algebraically. One fourth divided by three fourths. We have our common units, so they kind of disappear because they're the same. So it just becomes a division of our numerators. One divided by three looks like this same answer. In this problem, we do not have common denominators, so we're going to have to make it. So I'm going to go ahead and visually represent them as they would look without common denominators. We have one-fourth, like this, and this one's separated into thirds, and we have two of those thirds. I know that I have to get to common denominators, so we would have to have a good understanding of equivalent fractions. I can s multiply this by three. And this new problem becomes 3 twelfths. And then when I do this, I'm going to separate it into fourths, which is a little bit harder. We can do it. It's not pretty. And I have 8 twelfths here. So I'm asking myself again, how many 8 twelfths can fit into 3 twelfths? And I see that 1, 2, 3 of them, so only these 3 right now can fit in. So right over here, three of them can fit in. Out of how many total? Out of eight. Let's take a look at the algebra problem. Since we have the common denominators, these units disappear. They don't matter. And we just divide the numerators. Three divided by eight becomes three eighths. Same answer. In this problem, we have one whole divided by one fourth. So if we go ahead and visually represent one whole, it would look something like this. And then we would have one-fourth representing like this. So again, our problem asks us, how many one-fourths fit into one whole? Well, I still need to have some common denominators, so I'm going to go ahead and separate this into fourths because that would be the easiest. So I want to know how many of these can fit into here. Well, I see one can fit here, another one can fit here, another one can fit here, and another one can fit here. So my answer is four. When I go ahead and rewrite this with common denominators, this becomes 4 fourths, which we all know is equivalent to 1 whole, divided by 1 fourth. Again, our common units don't matter. It just becomes a division of our numerators. 4 divided by 1 equals 4. Okay, this problem is 2 thirds divided by 1 sixth. So we're asking how many 1 sixths can fit into 2 thirds. We see they don't have common denominators, so we're going to have to go ahead and make those common denominators. So we have two-thirds, and we have one-sixth. So since I don't have common denominators here, I can also make this into sixths. So this problem becomes four-sixths divided by one-sixth. 
So I'm asking how many of these can fit into here? So I see there's one here, two, three, and four. So how many one sixths are in four sixths? There are four. If I go to look at my algebraic number sentence, the common units drop. This becomes four divided by one, which is equal to four. Let's take a look at a mixed number divided by a fraction. This says two and a half divided by three fourths. So we're going to go ahead and visually represent two and a half. So here's one, here's two, and here's a half. So two wholes and a half more divided by three fourths, which can be represented with one area model, and here's three fourths. So we want to know how many of these three fourths can fit into two and a half. So we're going to go ahead and separate this into fourths since this is into fourths, and I can do that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to separate here. I'll make a little longer lines so you can see them. Okay, and this is all colored in. So we're going to go ahead and take a look and see how many of this grouping can fit into here. So here's one, two, three of them. This would be one of them. Then another one, two, three. This would be the second one. Another one, two, three. This would be the third one. So, so far we know three can fit in there. But we have this bit left over. So we know that this can fit into here. So that's another one out of how many? Three. So our answer is three and one third. There are three and one third, three fourths that fit in two and a half. So let's take a look at it algebraically. Two and a half becomes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten fourths divided by three fourths. Again, our common units drop away. This becomes ten divided by three, which is improper. So we can say how many threes fit into ten? There are three. 3 times 3 is 9, so 10 minus 9 is 1 with a remainder of 1 third, and we have the same answer.